name is Lydia Fai. I am in the entomology department advised by Dr. Megan Muti, and I am currently a fourth year PhD candidate. We are in uh, Dr. Megan Muti's lab here in Howlett Hall, uh, where we do a lot of our molecular work and some processing of mosquito samples. Well, a lot of what we do is we look at the expression of different genes, seeing how different environmental factors change the way that mosquitoes are expressing their proteins that they need to use in order to do whatever it is that they're doing in their life. I'm around, do most of my research around the entirety of Hallett Hall, so I do some things over in the greenhouse. I have some uh, growth chamber and incubators that I use down there. We have an insectary up on the third floor where we house our mosquito colonies. Broadly speaking, my research is looking at how um, different parts of the urban environment are changing mosquitoes overwintering behaviors. And the two that I'm specifically looking at are light pollution caused by artificial light at night and urban warming, which is known as the urban heat island effect. And seeing how changing the light that mosquitoes are exposed to and the temperatures that they are during the fall will change when they actually make that uh, change to go into their overwintering state. My main question is about how cities are changing these processes that have been around for millennia in um, animals. And I think that that's really important because urbanization is just continuing to grow. So we really need to know how uh, what we're doing as humans affects the organisms around us and that includes in these spaces where we actually live.